Today we'll be learning how to tie five of the easiest knots that every fly angler needs to know to get their rod up and running. So to begin, we're going to be looking at the arbor knot, which is used to attach the backing to your fly reel. Begin by tying an overhand knot in your backing, which is created by just forming a loop and then passing the tag end of your backing through that loop. Pull it tight, and then after you've pulled it tight, you're going to want to trim the excess off. So just go ahead and cut within a sixteenth of an inch of the end of the knot, and then go ahead and take your backing, pass it around the spool of your reel, and then go ahead and tie another overhand knot. So again, we're going to create a loop, and then you're going to take the tag end around and pass it through that loop. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and tighten it. So that's what that looks like. And then once you tighten it, you can just pull it around the spool of the reel until it tightens down so then you can start winding your backing onto the spool. The second knot we'll be learning is the Albright knot and the Albright knot is used to attach your fly line to the backing. To begin you'll just need to create a loop in the fly line so that's what that looks like and then once you have your loop in your fly line Go ahead and pass the backing through that loop and then pull it so there are a few inches of backing that I come out parallel to these other two lines and go ahead and pinch it bring the backing around back and then we're going to wrap one loop right where all the lines meet and then pinch it and then now that we have that in place, we're going to wrap eight to 10 successive loops that move from my fingers down towards the tip of the loop. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that we have our eight loops, we're going to pass the tag end through the loop in the same direction that the standing line is going. So as you can see, the standing line goes from the top here down through the loop. So we're up top and we're also going to go down <laughs> through the loop. If I can get that to go. So just like that, now that both are going the same direction through the loop, we're going to pull it tight and you can kind of coax the loops down the line and then just continue to pull it until all the loops are down towards the um, very tip just like that and as you can see you'll wind up with a nice flush knot so once you've pulled it tight and you've got it all adjusted, go ahead and take your clippers and just cut off the excess. The next knot we'll be tying in this tutorial is the nail knot and we will be using a nail knot tool you don't need to use a nail knot tool, but it does make it easier. The nail knot is used to attach your leader to your fly line. And to begin, you'll want to take your fly line and place it in the groove of the nail knot tool. Once it's in the groove, go ahead and take your leader and bring it alongside the nail knot tool. And then you'll want to bring through a couple inches just so you have plenty of the leader to work with when you're tying your knot. So after you do that, go ahead and pinch those both in place, and then you're going to take 
the leader and wrap it down the nose of the nail nut tool. So you're going to want to do consecutive wraps right next to each other down the nose and you'll want to do five. So there's three and we do four and now we have five wraps around the nail nut tool. So now that we have that, we're holding it and pinching it between our thumb and our pointer and we have the end of the leader and now we're just going to work that up the groove of the nail knot tool so stick it all the way through and then once you have that um, all the way up through there you'll go ahead and just snug down this end a little bit and then you can see the tag end of the leader. Go ahead, take out the slack there, and then we're going to work these loops um, gently down off of the tool, kind of tightening as we go and taking out the slack. So now we have all of these loops right next to one another. And it looks nice and neat. So you can see it's like a bunch of rings around the, the line. And then go ahead and pull gently with on the leader. And then bring those loops down close to the line. So just kind of work the slack out little by little keeping those rings nice and neat. And it might look a little disheveled at first, but just keep pulling the slack down. Then once you have it up against the line, just use the fingernail of one thumb and push those rings together. And then do the same with your other thumb. And then pull out the slack with the leader until you have your nail nut. And so once you have that, you can pull on your fly line and pull on the leader until it's set in place. And then take your clipper and clip your fly line and clip the tag end of your leader. And there you have your nail knot. The fourth knot we'll be looking at in this tutorial is the double surgeon's knot. And we're using the fly line and backing to demonstrate, but normally you would have your leader and your tippet. So to begin, you'll want to overlap about six inches of your leader and your tippet. And then you'll want to create a loop. And then Pass everything through that loop once and then you'll want to take the tag end and your standing line and you'll want to go through again. So you don't have a ton of the tag end to work with but make sure you're getting both of those through that loop and once you have both of those running through you can just pull everything tight together and kind of work it and then once it's start starting to tighten down go ahead and wet it with some saliva and then pull it tight and you can work it back and forth with all the ends until you have it taut and then you are all set all you need to do now is take your nippers and then cut off the excess and you've attached your two lines. For this last knot, we will be tying the improved clench knot. This knot is used for attaching the tippet to the fly. In this case, we're using some different things just so that it's easier to see, but let's get started. First thing you'll want to do is feed the tippet up through the eye of the fly and pull some line through. Next, you can just cross the line over itself and then do one loop 
two loops, three loops, four loops. You want to do about five loops. And once you've done that, you can loop it back and then go up through the little hole by the eye of the fly and then back up through there so it looks like that and just kind of hold that tag end don't pull on it just and then from there you can tighten it down by pulling on the standing line um, so you just pull it taut and with smaller line it'll cinch down and you'll be all set but uh, there is the improved clench knot I hope you found these step-by-step -step knot tying tutorials helpful. And if you have, be sure to give us a thumbs up or head on over to our YouTube channel to subscribe to show your support. I've linked a few other fly fishing tips and tricks here that I think you'll enjoy, so be sure to check those out too.